In this video, I'm gonna be telling you about every single gun in Blocks Roots and a complete guide on how to master each of them. Okay, so the very first gun we got here is the Slingshot, and this is the literal worst gun in the whole game. Again, you can buy it from an NPC called the Weapons Dealer. It costs a total of 5,000 belly, and you can also upgrade this to grade 2 for 5 leather and 5 angel wings, and this increases the gun's damage by 25%. The first ability of this gun is called Sticky Pellet. It has a 20 mass requirement, and you basically just shoot a Sticky Pellet, and you restrict your target to one area. The second one is called Explosive Pellet, and well, you just shoot a bullet that explodes on contact. The M1 click of this gun does 720 damage the sticky pellet does 1300 damage and the explosive pellet does 2000 damage overall pretty solid damage for a very basic gun and keep in mind all the damage that i'm going to be mentioning in this video is if the character had their gun stats on max level as well as obviously having no accessories on and with that in mind let's move on to the flintlock a flintlock is an uncommon gun and this cost 10,500 belly and you can also buy from an npc called the weapons dealer you can upgrade this to grade 2 for 5 magma rocks and 5 leather and this increases the gun's damage by 25% First up, we got the Z ability, and this one is called Disabling Shot, and you basically shoot a purple bullet at someone, and if this hits them, it stuns them for a short amount of time. Next ability is called Rapid Gun, and for this one, you shoot three rapid bullets that all explode upon contact. They're literally just like the previous gun, but just three times better. The M1 click for this gun does 2,800 damage, the Z ability does 1,400, and the Rapid Gun ability does 4,000 damage. Overall, very solid, but it does have longer cooldowns than the previous one, and it also does cost a lot more. Next gun we got on this list is the Musket. And you can buy this one for 8,000 belly from the weapons dealer. To upgrade it to grade 2, you need 5 fishtails and 5 leather, and increases the gun's damage by 25%. The first ability is called Dragon's Bullet, and for this one, you kind of just shoot a small explosive bullet, has a pretty small hitbox, but it does do more damage than your regular M1 abilities. Next ability is the X ability, and this one is called Bold Pistero. Basically, just shoot a tornado out of your gun. Pretty cool. I mean, you don't really shoot it out, you kind of just spawn it, which is pretty weird. Next is the Cannon. This is the first rare gun on this list, and it costs 100,000 belly to buy. It also does have a grade 2 which you can upgrade to for 5 fishtails, 5 magma ore, and 5 leather straps. It increases the gun's damage by 20%, 5% less than the previous ones. The first ability of this gun is called Alpha Wave. You kind of just shoot out a huge beam of orange energy which can hit multiple people at the same time. Next is the X ability and for this one you basically shoot out 3 small orange pellets and they burst into flames doing some fire damage and dealing a decent amount of HP. Next gun we got here is the Refined Flintlock which is just I guess a better flintlock. I mean the ability these are also very similar. This gun also does have a grade 2 which you can upgrade to for 10 metal scraps and 10 magma ore and increases the gun's damage by 20%. The first ability is called Disabling Shot and this one is literally the same as the previous one, basically just stuns the target. And then we got the X ability which is Rapid Gun, just like the previous one you shoot 3 bullets. But the difference between this and the normal flintlock is obviously the damage. The M1 ability does 3200 damage, the Z ability does 1600 and the Rapid Gun ability does 4200. Very very solid gun. I mean, it's solid for the first C. Once you get out, it's kind of useless. Next up, we got the Refined Musket, and this gun does have a grade 2, which you can upgrade to for 10 fishtails and 10 metal scraps. First up, we got the Z ability. This one is called Dragon's Bullet, and it's literally the same as the one before, but it does more damage and more knockback. Next up, we got the X ability Bolt Pistero, which is literally just a tornado. Literally a copy-paste. But let's get into the damage. The M1 clicks for the Refined version do a lot more damage, 3,500. The Z ability does 3,100, and the X ability does 3,500. Very solid. Moving on from that, we got the Refined Slingshot, which is a Refined find version of the worst gun in the game. It costs a total of 30,000 belly and you can upgrade it to grade 2 for 10 metal scraps and 10 angel wings. And you already know the drill with the abilities. They're literally just copy paste of the unrefined version but they do more damage. For the M1, 1,500. For the Z ability is 1,800. And for the X ability, it is 2,400. Overall, a very solid choice, especially for the price. Moving on to the best gun in the first C, with the Bazooka. The first legendary gun on this list. And unlike the other guns, you can't actually buy this one. You have to defeat the Whisper boss located at upper sky to get it and you can upgrade this gun to grade 2 with a dark fragment which is actually a mythical item 15 dragon scales and 10 magma orb which all increase the gun's damage by 25 percent anyways let's get into the abilities the first ability is called alpha wave which is very similar to the ability of one of the previous guns then we got incendiary ammo and basically just shoot out a bullet that lights everything on fire anyways let's get into the damage the m1 click for this gun is actually one of the highest in the whole game just because of the fact that you have a very long reload time the m1 literally does 5,000 damage the Z ability does 3,200 damage, and the crazy thing is that the M1 ability literally does more damage than the Z ability, so you don't really have a need to use the Z ability, especially since it has an 11 second cooldown. Anyways, let's get into the X ability, which it actually varies its damage depending on how close you are to the enemy. 
If you hit the bullet colliding next to the NPC, then you do 3000 damage. If you hit the ground or wall, but it's not a direct hit, then you do 5000 damage. And finally, if you hit the NPC directly, then you do 7300 damage, which is a huge amount for a first C gun. And overall, this gun is pretty decent. It can obviously break instinct because it does AoE damage, which also makes it extremely good for grinding. People know that mostly in this game, you either want to be a sword main or a fruit main. You can use it to aggro your enemies, which I find pretty interesting. So this gun will come in handy, especially if your targets are next to each other. Anyways, moving on to the second C. The very first gun we got here is the Acidum Rifle. And you actually have a pretty unique way of getting this gun. So on the second C, there's a place called the Factory, and there's a raid every now and then. You have to destroy the Factory Core, which is located inside the place. And once you do that, you have a chance of getting it. This gun does have a grade 2, which you can upgrade to for 8 vampire fangs and 10 leather straps, which increases the gun's damage by 10%. So if you don't have a lot of free time on your hand, I don't really recommend this, especially for a 10% damage increase. Anyways, moving on to the abilities, the first one is called Spiky Bomb, and for this one, you shoot a huge green projectile that explodes after a short amount of time, and it deals a lot of damage, and it stuns everything that it hits. Next up is the X ability, and this is called Acidic Smoke, with a 200 mastery requirement, and it does exactly what it sounds like. You just shoot out a bunch of acidic smoke from your gun and you shoot it out three times anyways let's get into the overall damage for this gun the m1 click does 4200 damage the z ability does 4600 with a 10 second cooldown then we got the acidic smoke with the initial hit you do 5100 damage and if your target gets hit and they stay in the gas bubble then they take 385 damage three times before the gas bubble despawns that's a really good thing about this ability but i doubt your opponent's going to be standing in the same place for long the next gun we got here is the bizarre rifle and you can also get this in a pretty unique way buy it with a unique currency in the game called ectoplasm you can only buy this on the cursed ship from an npc named el rodolfo and it does have a grade 2 which you can upgrade to for 20 leather straps 10 angel wings and 5 magma and increases the gun's damage by 15%. The first ability of this gun is called Heat Seeking Shot. And for this one, you shoot a blue ball of energy which actually targets the enemy. So it's basically a guaranteed hit if you're close enough. The next ability is called Hellfire Shower, which has a 300 master requirement. You shoot a huge amount of blue flames towards your enemy and everyone knows blue flames look a lot cooler and they probably do more damage as well. Speaking about the damage, let's get right into that. The M1 click for this gun does 3,600 damage. The Z ability does 4,800 and the X ability does 11,800 damage. And that's why fire is very overpowered in this game. Moving on, we got the final gun for the second sea, and that is the Kabucha. You can buy this from an isolated island in the second sea for 1,500 fragments. You can upgrade this gun to tier 2 for 15 dragon scales, 3 vampire fangs, and 50 leather straps, and increases the gun's damage by 15%. Anyways, let's talk about the abilities. First up, we got the Z ability, and this is called Flying Fire Bird. And this actually looks like one of the Ice Fruits abilities, except the bird is made out of fire. And this bird actually leaves behind a flame trail, so it covers a huge area. Next up is the X ability and this one is called Intense Wind. For this one you shoot a huge bullet which also breaks instinct and it's kind of similar to the previous move but it's made out of wind. The only downside I would say with this is it takes very long to travel and reach its destination. So your enemy can easily dodge it. And the M1 click does 1800 damage but don't let that low damage fool you because you can literally spam the crap out of this. The Z ability is going to be doing 4000 damage as the X ability at 5600 damage. And that's literally it for the second C. There's only three guns there. Moving on to the third C. The first gun we got here is the Serpent Bow, and this is yet another legendary gun, and the way you get it is by defeating the Island Empress boss. You can upgrade this gun to gear 2 for 1 meteorite, 10 vampire fangs, and 10 metal scraps, increasing the gun's damage by 10%. The first ability of this gun is called Poisonous Blast, and for this one you fire a huge purple projectile, and it explodes if it comes into contact with an enemy or a surface. It does damage over time, so your enemy still keeps taking damage. Next up we got the X ability called Snakebind. You fire a medium range projectile, but this one is really fast, so it's almost impossible to dodge. But its range is pretty limited. The M1 click does 3400 damage, the Z ability does 7000, and the X ability does 3800. Overall very solid. And next up we got the one and only mythical gun in the whole game, the Soul Guitar. And the way you get the Soul Guitar is by doing a very long tedious quest, 500 bones, 250 ectoplasm, 1 dark crystal, and 5000 fragments. And the minimum level to do this quest is 2300. And you can also upgrade this to grade 2, but I really don't recommend it because you need to pay 1 dark crystal, 15 dragon scales and 10 magma ore, all just to increase the damage by 6%. The M1 ability is actually kind of special with this gun, it almost looks like a proper ability. This consumes 20 energy and it just shoots out a kind of electric power I guess. 
Next up, we got the Zia Valier, and this one is called Soul Shaker. You shoot out a huge projectile made out of energy. It's also lightning fast, so it's almost impossible to dodge. Next up is the Exibili, and this one is called El Diablo, and for this one, you shoot out a beam of light which summons a skull, which explodes in the sky and deals damage to literally everything around you. The M1 ability for this gun does 2,200 damage, the Z ability does 4,000, and just wait till you hear the X ability. It literally does 8,000 damage. And that's it.